multiculturalism. That's the topic I want to cover today. Multiculturalism is the idea that every culture needs to be equally represented in uh, society by the government. That somehow all cultures are actually equal. Well, and that by having us all celebrate every single possible culture, that we are somehow uniting the people, getting rid of divisions and etc. This simply isn't true. Multiculturalism is a celebration of division. Each culture is given a stamp of what it means to be a member of that culture. And what that is is often abstractly put together. What it means to be an African American is not a set definition. What it means to be a European descent or German or an or a white American or an Asian American or pick the group or any nationality for that purpose is not a set definition. It is often cobbled together various customs or traditions, various bits and pieces of their of history that took place in that region or a region to fit the definition of what they want it to be. It becomes a highly politicized movement. It is divisive because only very few people or any number of people who fit that definition or who choose to feel that they fit that definition can lay claim to that multicultural aspect. Let me explain. I recognize myself. I've pigeoned my pigeonhole myself into certain definitions. I recognize myself as a Christian. I recognize myself as if there is such a thing as race, I call myself a white person. Um uh, I recognize myself as of German descent. I recognize myself as an American. What does it mean to be any number of these things? Well now you've entered into the whole realm of totally abstract arrangements. What is a German? Outside of a small regional area, what customs are German, what customs are not German? There's a lot of blending that takes place. Throughout history, some customs of Germany were adopted from other groups. Other customs of Germany were not. But even within Germany, you had different customs in different regions. So what regions are you? could go down to this basic size of which village you were in, to down to which house you came from. Or which family you came from. My family has customs that probably aren't held by the German people, which I associate as being German because they're part of my family, and my family, if you track it down, goes back to Germany. Then you have other compli complications in that I'm not 100% German. No one is. No one's 100% black. No one's 100% fill in the blank, whatever it is. Because in each of those areas you have different groups and also you have different parents. There's numerous family lines that lead into whoever I am. Alright? Multiculturalism basically starts pigeonholing people. It's an effort to pigeonhole society to fit into various categories. People do it because that's the only way the human mind can get a grip on what things are. The human mind categorizes things. It's the way it works. It makes categories. Now the categories are all abstractly arranged. So you abstractly decide what's German, what's 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 African, and what's um, uh, South American, what's North American, what's Native American, what's whatever. Fill in the blank. And then you take those things you bring these people into the school system or into the government more accurately most often in the school system and or in the media sources or government media sources like PBS and you present them in a packaged form saying this is a what it means to be African 
This is what it means to be European. This is what it means to be German. This is what it means to be Christian. This is what it means to be Islamic. This is what it means to be male. This is what it means to be female. And you have all already assigned positions and definitions, that all of which are abstract. And then you get angry should someone come forward and say, hey, uh, you didn't include this, this, and this. Or you didn't include uh, um, some of the bad things connected to that area of the world or history of that people or whatever. Um, you didn't include whatever. You create division doing that. It's often said, and often one of my biggest problems with the whole multiculturalism movement is that the one culture that is ignored in the whole process is the culture of the majority. The largest population is not allowed a voice in the multiculturalism. The argument goes that, well, you can't avoid that particular culture, therefore we don't have to tell you about it. And that's bogus. Because that's not what you're trying to do. You, you include all the other remotest groups into your multiculturalism, yet you turn around and say that, well, this one is not included. If you're being inclusive, you have to include that culture as well. You can't deny their existence. You can't, you can't exclude them because, just because, well, you can't avoid them. You know? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. In fact, it shows a kind of a hatred for the, that culture. Anyways, multiculturalism does not unite people. Multiculturalism has never united people. And multiculturalism only drives in division. You want conflict, which is fine. Verbal conflict is fine. It's a democracy. It's healthy. We do not pretend to think that multiculturalism will somehow bring us all together. It won't. It celebrates and encourages division. Which is fine, but that is not really necessarily the job of the government to do. People should do that, not the government. Thank you very much, and have yourself a good day.